Hey guys, this is Akhilesh from DataSense. Today we are going to learn how to combine multiple files from a folder. Please note that all the files should be of the same format. Then only we will be able to combine it. And in this case, if we look at one of the file, we have the products and their sales for the year 2020 and 2021. Similarly, if you go for another file, it is for a different location, but the format is exactly same. So our task is to combine all of them so that we don't need to refer each and every file and we can have it all in one combined place. And for this, we will use a concept known as Power Query. Power Query is available in Excel as well as Power BI. If you see here in the data tab of Excel 2016 or 2019, we have this section get and transform data and that is known as Power Query. But this exercise we are going to do in Power BI. Okay. So let's start. So when we go to Power BI, we need to start with Home tab and that's where you will find this Get Data option. When you expand it, so these are the data sources from which you can connect, but you can click on More to see other varieties of data sources. Now, once you get this window, you can click on File section and in the File section, you have this folder option because our files are located in one single folder. So when I click on that and try to connect, it will ask the location of that folder. So I will fetch the location of that folder, paste the location here and click OK. And now you can see it has listed out all the files from that folder. Now there are two options here. One is combine and one is load or transform. Combine means Power BI will combine them based on its own understanding. And transform means you will combine them in a custom way. So I will advise you to click on transform data because you have more control over there. So when I click on transform data, now you can see these are the four files from that folder. Now there are so many metadata information related to those files, but our interest is in only first two columns. So if the file name is important to you, then you can keep this column. For now, I will select these two columns and I will remove all other columns. Now this is the binary content. So we need to transform it into a tabular format. So for that, we will go to add columns and then click on custom columns. And now we will write a simple command, which is Excel dot. So this is the function. Then click content and close the bracket. Click OK. And now with respect to this binary content, you get a tabular content. And now you can delete this content because that is not really important. And I can open this custom. I will uncheck this and click OK. So earlier it was only showing the file informations. Now it is able to go inside those files and you can see these are the sheets available and this is the data set. And if you click on this table, you will see that it is the real data which we are looking for. So this is the main column which we want. If you need the file name or the sheet names, then you can keep those columns also. So I will keep this and I will keep this data column and then I will right click and remove other columns. So once it is there, I will try to expand this and click OK. These are the columns which are available in our data set. And you can see for each file, you have the header, the products and the months in the columns and the respective sales values. And our job is almost done. Now what we will do is we'll go to home tab. The first row is behaving kind of headers because these are the month names will go for this command which is use first row as headers and this will promote the first line into our headers and then this is our country column so I will just name it as country you can see here because the header was there in every single file so it is coming multiple times so you can go to this filter for product and you can uncheck product so that will get rid of all the headers which are in duplicate. Now, what is the information in this data? One is country, second is product, third is month and fourth is corresponding sales. So we would like to have four columns. To do that, you will select these two columns. So right click, then go for unpivot other columns and that will give us all the month columns in this way. So this is our month and that's our sales value. And the last option is check the data types of each column. So these two are text, so no problem. This one is the date and this one is numeric. So we'll go for decimal. And now 
I can click on close and apply and it will load the data for creating any further charts or reports in Power BI. You can use the exact same process for Power Query in Excel to combine these files. So these are the columns in our data set and if you want to have a look you can go to tabular mode and this is your combined data set. And now because the Power BI charts are interactive in nature, you can click on UAE, you will see the UAE trend and what is the split of products in the UAE. Next time all you need to do is click on refresh. It will pull the data set from those folders again and then will show you the updated data on the screen. So that's it from my side. We learned how to combine files which are of similar format from a single folder. So we can have n number of files and they will be combined in the same process. Hope you found it useful. Please share your feedback in the comment section. And if you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon, that will be great for us. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.